Shalom, peace, blessings, and love to you and your families. So through the spirit of the Most High Yahweh in this video, we're going to talk about how possibly there just may not be any more jobs in Egypt. Now, I made a previous video, and I had to take it down because there was a lot of conspiracy in it. I like to make my videos pertaining to the word of the Most High Yahweh, such as we will go ahead and bring out in this video here, showing that the Most High Yahweh said that a uh, in modern day Egypt with America, soon there will be no more jobs. Soon they're going to replace your jobs with robots. Okay? That's why they uh, hired this guy here, whose favorite quote is, you're fired. That's the reason why. There's a whole lot of FEMA camps all over the United States, all over the world. They have you steady thinking that it's for World War Three. They have you thinking that it's for all these other reasons, but in reality, it's for you. What's going to happen to you when you're not going to be able to afford a gallon of milk? A piece of meat, right? I mean, you people love meat. You can't even go a, a, a week without some meat because you'd be ready to kill your neighbor. You see that? So that's the real reason why they got these FEMA camps out there and these FEMA coffins. So let's go ahead and talk about it. And let's start off in Proverbs 16 and 25. There is a way that appears to be right. But in the end, at least to death, you see? So, you know, you're born here. You think by, you know, getting a job, getting a wife, settling down here, getting a big old nice house by the beach. That seems to be the right way, right? But, it says in the end, it leaves only to death. Because if you don't involve the most high how in your life, but instead you give your time over to tangible things, to things that don't matter, well... The Most High Yahweh will give your mind over to whatever it is, and that path right there will lead to death. Because you only got two paths. Life, which is serving the Most High Yahweh, your God, and becoming His servant forever. Or death. You know, following the ways of your own stubbornness, according to the lust of your eyes, the lust of the flesh, and enjoying death. And verse 26 says, The appetite of laborers work for them. Their hunger drives them on. A scoundrel plots evil. And on their lips, it is like a scorching fire. Just like the Most High Howard says about Esau and the wicked. Let's go ahead and show you this. Isaiah 11, sorry, Isaiah 33 and 11. You conceive shaft, you give birth to straw. Your breath is a fire that consumes you. The peoples will be burned to ashes, like cut thorn bushes, they will be set ablaze. You who are far away, hear what I have done. You who are near, acknowledge my power. The sinners in Zion are terrified, trembling grips the godless. Who of us can dwell with the consuming fire? Who of us can dwell with everlasting burning? So let's go back here to Proverbs 16 and 27. A scoundrel plots evil, and on their lips it is like a scorching fire. A perverse person stirs up conflict, and a gossip separates close friends. A violent person entices their neighbor and leads them down a path that is not good. Okay, again, a violent person entices their neighbor. So the Most High Howard told you about the enemy. How his words are smoother than butter. But war is always in his heart. Verse 30 says, Whoever winks with their eye is plotting perversity. Whoever pursues, oh sorry, whoever purses their lips is bent on evil. Gray hair is a crown of splendor. It is attained in the way of righteousness. Better a patient a patient person than a warrior, one with self-control, than one who takes a city. All right, because the most tell you how I told you about the arrogant, how their eyes are so ever haughty. Job 15 and 7. Are you the first man ever born? Were you brought forth before the hills? Like it says here, because the most tell you how I told you how Esau how the wicked, they were going to try to take their stand against the prince of princes. So Daniel 8 and 25 says, He will cause the seed to prosper, 
and he will consider himself superior. When they feel secure, he will destroy many and take his stand against the prince of princes. Yet he will be destroyed, but not by human power. So Job 15 and 7. Are you the first man ever born? Were you brought forth before the hills? Do you listen in on the most highest council? Do you have a monopoly on wisdom? What do you know that we do not know? What insight do you have that we do not have? The gray-haired and the aged are on our side. Men even older than your father. Are the most highest consolations not enough for you? Words spoken gently to you, which this also goes hand in hand with uh, Isaiah 10 and 26. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this here. It says, Yahweh Almighty will lash them with a whip, as when he struck down Midian at the rock of Oreb, and he will raise his staff over the waters, as he did in Egypt. Why? Because, I mean, they don't listen. This is why we read this here. Okay, and this is the scripture I was actually looking for, sorry. So Isaiah 26 and 10 says, But when grace is shown to the wicked, they do not learn righteousness. Even in a land of uprightness, they go on, see that? They go on doing evil and do not regard the majesty of Yahweh. So again, Job 15 and 11. Are God's consolations not enough for you? Words spoken gently to you. So that's why the Most High Yahweh says that these beat, sorry, these people, they're going to be beaten down by hell. Okay, the Most High Yahweh is going to send them a scorching wind. But to all of those who take refuge in Him, He's going to lead you besides quiet waters. Okay? And Yahweh shall be a shelter for you from the storm. So that's why it's going to go well with you. To the righteous. But to the wicked. They're going to have to deal with their judgment. Verse 12 says. Why has your heart carried you away? And why does your eyes flash? So that you vent your rage against the Most High. And pour out such words from your mouth. What are mortals that they could be pure or those born of women that they could be righteous? All right. So again, the most high house says to these people, they love to indulge themselves in that wicked wisdom. Okay. And that wicked wisdom is going to bite them in the butt. So, you know, I've talked about in the past, you know, DARPA robots and I also said how, you know, it may be possible how they're going to replace people's jobs. I mean, let's go ahead and take a look at this article here. So this is an article from NPR.org. And it says, Trump wants a federal hiring freeze. But it may not save money. President-elect Donald Trump rode to elector electoral victory in part on discontent with Washington. He promised to drain the swamp, referring to the national's capital. So again, you know, I'm not going to read all of this, but it says here that Trump wants a federal hiring freeze. So let's go ahead and read this in Isaiah chapter 19, verse 4. I will hand the Egyptians over to the power of a cruel master, and a fierce king will rule over them, declares the Lord. Yahweh Almighty. The waters of the river will dry up, and the riverbed will be parched and dry. The candles will stink, the streams of Egypt will dwindle and dry up, the reeds and rushes will wither. Also, the plants along the Nile, at the mouth of the river, every sown field along the Nile will become parched, will blow away, and be no more. The fishermen will groan and lament. All who cast hooks into the Nile, those who throw nets on the water will pine away. Those who work with comb flax will despair. 
the weavers of fine linen will lose hope. The workers in cloth will be dejected, and all the wage earners will be sick at heart. Okay, so that's what's coming up. The Most High House says a lot of things coming up for America. You want you you want America to be so great, right? But the Most High God says, as as surely as He lives. America will not be great. America will always be under the wrath of Yahweh until you understand who's God. Okay? So, you know, they have this game that came out recently. It's the latest version of Call of Duty. So, it's called Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, right? And basically, in this game, which is a good game, I played it, by the way. And this game basically shows you how, you know, robots are siding with humans okay and it's no coincidence because the most tire how it says that you know this was gonna happen okay they're gonna think about getting you people out of here and replacing you people with robots you understand because again you know you people need a lunch break you need a bathroom break every five minutes you can't get your job done on time so they're tired of it you understand so this is why it says here that all the earth sorry all the wage earners will be sick at heart okay so that's the real reason why they have these fema camps on there because you people are gonna go crazy soon all right this is why you need the most high Yahweh in your life so let's go ahead and read this isaiah 14 and 29 do not rejoice O you philistines that the rod that struck you is broken from the root of that snake will spring up a viper its fruit will be a darting venomous snake as this the poorest of the poor will find pasture and the needy will lie down in safety but your root i will destroy by famine it will slay your survivors well you gates how you city melt away all you philistines a cloud of smoke comes from the north see that a cloud of smoke comes from the north. We just read that the Most High Yahweh says that he's going to hand the Egyptians over into the, into the power of a fierce king. Okay? It says, and there is not a straggler in its rank. So this is why the Most High Yahweh says this here in Isaiah 19 and 14. Yahweh has poured into them a spirit of dizziness. They make Egypt stagger in all that she does as a drunkard staggers around in his vomit verse 15 there is nothing Egypt can do head or tail palm branch or reed and that day the Egyptians will become weaklings they will shudder with fear at the uplifted hand Yahweh Almighty raises against them so now we're gonna read this in Jeremiah 8 and 1 at that time declares Yahweh the bones of the kings and officials of Yahweh the because again the bones right of these people are dry because these people have gone down to Egypt and they went up to Assyria that's the reason why it says that your rulers are rebels not one of them is teaching you the truth okay they're all misleading you so look what it says here about these people who are doing such things the bones of the kings and officials of Yahweh the, the bones of the priests and prophets and the bones of the people of Yarawashalam will be removed from their graves. They will be exposed to the sun. See that? They're Hamashiach and the moon, right? They're Virgin Mary, they're Isis Crisis, and all the stars of the heavens, which they have loved and served, and which they have followed and consulted and worshipped. You see that? So this is the reason why the Most High Yahweh tells you people to, <laughs> you know, because you got to understand the Most High Yahweh, he got a funny way of telling you people that you sinned. So let's go ahead and show you this here. Let's see if we can find this in Amos. Here we go. Amos 4 and 12. Therefore, this is what I will do to you, Yashara. And because I will do this to you, Yashara, prepare to meet your God. You see that? All right, the jokes is on you. You see that? You you was waiting for the Hamashiach to come, right? You was waiting for Jeebus Geist and the many chariots. Well, the Most High God says, He has brought him to you. 
He has showed you that that is the sun and the moon and all the starry hosts that you've been worshipping, that you've been loving. Okay? So that's why in these times and in these days, you are going to be exposed to your Hamashiachs and to the many chariots and to everything else that you worship that was not Yahweh alone. Alright? These are your days. Best believe that. So it says, they will be exposed to the sun and the moon and all the stars of the heavens, which they have loved and served and which they have followed and consulted and worshipped. They will not be gathered up or buried, but would be like dung lying on the ground. Here we go. Verse 3. Wherever I banish them, all the survivors of this evil nation will prefer death to life, declares Yahweh Almighty. See why the days of trouble are right around the corner. I mean, you know, we're living in days of tribulation, but it's going to get a whole lot worse. Best believe that. And I'm not trying to gloat over anybody, but this is what it is. The Most High God says this evil nation here that does not want to obey him, right? They want to continue to believe in man-made gods and man-made lies. It says this evil nation will prefer death to life. Why do you think the Most High Yahweh says? That Esau, Esau will be a people always under the wrath of Yahweh. So furthermore, you people that want to follow in his ways, you think nothing's going to happen to you? You're going to get the same judgment. You see how that goes? So let's read this in Job 3 and 11. And it says, Why did I not perish at birth and die as I came from the womb? Why were there knees, I'm sorry, why were there knees to receive me and breasts that I might be nursed. For now I would be lying down in peace. I would be asleep and at rest. With kings and rulers of the earth who built for themselves palaces now lying in ruins. With princes who had gold who filled their houses with silver. Or why? Was I not hidden away in the ground like a stillborn child, like an infant who never saw the light of day? There the wicked cease from turmoil, and there the weary are at rest. Captives also enjoy their ease. They no longer hear the slave drivers shout. The small and the great are there. Where? It's talking about death. All right, it's talking about death, physical death. That's the reason why the Most High House says that you people made your covenant with the spiritual death, with the gods of the, you know, of, of, of dead, sorry, the gods of the dead. You people have, you know, joined them. So it says the small and the great are there and, and the slaves are free, freed from their, from their owners, sorry. So just like we read here, right? So let's go back over here. In Isaiah 14 and 29. Do not rejoice, O you Philistines, that the rod that struck you is broken. From the root of that snake will spring up a viper. Its, fr its fruit will be a darting, venomous serpent. The poorest of the poor will find pasture, and the needy will lie down in safety. For your root I will destroy by famine. It will slay your survivors. So again, this is the time we live in. And the Most High Yahweh says, all these people that that are worshiping demons, they're going to the realm of the dead, like it says here. All the nations that forget God, including His own people, Psalms 9 and 17. The wicked go down to the realm of the dead. All the nations that forget God. Verse 19, verse 18, but the Most High will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. So now let's read this here. In Ecclesiastes 4.1, again, I looked and saw all the oppression that was taking place under the sun. I saw the tears of the oppressed, and they have no comforter. Power was on the side of their oppressors, and they have no comforter. So this is why the Most High Yahweh says, you have to take refuge in Him, because His words, they will comfort you. All right, Isaiah 30 and 12. Therefore, this is what the Holy One of Yasharal says, because you have rejected this message, relied on oppression, and depending on deceit, this sin will become for you like a high wall, cracked and bulging, that collapsed suddenly in an instant. 
just like it tells us in the scripture here. And with that, 